Oh no, we don't have the space for it. No, I just place it? No, 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 I need... Uh, uh, how... Uh, Oh no, how do I, I need, oh, I need, I need more, I need more science, I need more stuff, alright, let's go to sleep, and we'll wake up, and we will preach, and then we will get no money, and then we will go to the, to the tavern, and reveal that we've buried someone, and then, This is... this is going badly. I've really mucked up. Where do you get... I mean, the thing is, I could wait now until the merchant's available and try and talk to him this week. That might be what we have to do. Alright, well, we will preach. We haven't got another one. 80% chance of success, apparently. Oh, because we've improved the church by having another pew. And I think more people have come as well. Our church is great. We don't have any. We don't believe anything, but our church is great. Let us pray for this blessing. Oh, faith. That'd be useful if I could do science. Okay. Okay. Nice. Ooh, four. Donations are welcome. I mean, a lot of this money is going to go back into... <gasps> Five, six... <gasps> wow, this has been really profitable preaching. How much did we get? 42 copper. Alright, what could I... I mean, I should probably just throw all of these in here until I have a better plan for what I'm doing. I can't really do anything. Oh, I can get the cookbook. I need two? I can't. I need... Uh. Is there a prayer for science? Doesn't look like it. Prayer for co prayer for prosperity, which gives money. Prayer for donations, okay, and then combo prayer. Right. Well, we need blue. We need blue science. But the only way to get blue science, it seems, is to get the pen and ink. And I can't even see what I need for them. Ah. Uh. Because I can't do anything here. You can do it with just clean paper. <gasps> okay, let's, okay, I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, okay. Um, what is there anything I have that gives me blue? Oh, lots of stuff. Right, okay. I don't care. <gasps> Blue sciences. Okay, so I don't actually need the paper, pen and paper. Looking forward to the comments talking about that. <gasps> Blue science. Well, let's have a look at the... Oh, I need the instructions for the key. So I need to find those somewhere. All of the Blue sciences. Good thing I decided to randomly check, see if there's anything that gave me this. Ooh, a new story. So that will help us make some notes. Oh, I don't have the faith for that. I can study some skin. Can't be decomposed into anything, but gives me loads of delicious blue science. Um, we'll put these back in here then. Put the story in there then. All right. Inventing stories, so we just randomly make 
stories. Pen and ink. Okay, so right. Uh, okay, so this. That actually changes things. If I can just get science from clean paper, that's fine, right? What? So what do I need for people? Mug of beer and some river sand from for Jerry, and that gets me the key. I don't know what these different colours mean. I think, considering the number of them, I assume that the orange is kind of the main story. But there doesn't seem to be a timer, so I can just probably just explore and do whatever I want. Um. Because we've grabbed all of these. But I don't know exactly... Uh, mug of beer and some river sand. But we can do that with Jerry. We can do that for Jerry. Because we do need to go back to the tavern anyway. To, um... What did you need? We need 30 in the graveyard, 20 in the church. Right, with 13. Do you, do you have... You have a candle. Don't know what that's for. Casual prayer, we already have that. You have loads of prayers. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know. Prayer for imagination. Sermon, money, and faith is increased. Retribution. True words that fill you with fury. Sermon, money, plus ten. Sermon, faith, plus twenty-five. So that gives more money, so it probably costs more. Excellence. Maybe you have slightly different words if you do. If you have different things like that. Right. What was I doing? What was I going to do? Uh, mug. River sand. And then to the tavern. Well, I mean that's solved a problem. Um, just make clean paper and do some science, and apparently that science is the science. Very good. Right. So we need some river sand. I think it's probably enough. So now we need a mug of beer. And we need to um, give the burial certificate as well. Okay. My goodness, that's basically like... <laughs> nearly two hours of stuff of just faffing around trying to find out how to, <laughs> to get more science. And it's just clean paper. I think because we got a lot from notes, so I just assumed that we needed notes for that. Oh well. Slowly learning. I mean, that is science, after all. We have scienced um, both in-game and out-of-game and figured out that paper can be used for science. And then we've studied various um, anatomical parts that definitely didn't come from bodies that we were told we had to bury. Definitely. Don't know what you're talking about. Um, right. Uh, trade. So we sell you that, and I need another mug of beer. I'm going to go for the cheap one, because... Crafted at Zombie Brewery. I'm slightly terrified of that, but we'll just keep going. Oh, when will you let me buy him, buy some wine? Um, right, so let's go back to Jerry. Uh, we'll head back to... Yeah, we'll head back to Jerry. And... Bye, Bishop. And... Uh, yes, and then that gets us the key. We can then talk to that guy for the key. And then... I don't know what that's going to open. But we'll find out. We've then got the other key that we don't know what to do with. Oh, maybe going... No, hang on. Bring a mug of beer and some river sands. That's blue. Cle oh, collect the old keeper's diary from the church cellar is orange. So these are probably not going to be related, but... Let's start with the cleaning. Are you ready to shine as bright as a diamond? I'll be so cool after I'm all washed. Should I be afraid someone will want to steal me? Ha <laughs> ha. There's nobody around, Jerry. You seem a little too fussy today, you know. It's been more than a day. I've been 
really distracted by science. <laughs> I don't think so, just a lot of things to do. Let's get started. Careful around my navel cavity. It's a little sensitive. Anything you say, Jerry. I hope he actually has like a little ding. <laughs> ah, he ho ha. Hi! Ah, that was the spot. And what a smell. Hmm. I must say you have soft hands. Thank you. Enjoy your cleanliness. Right. Now we go to Yurik. For the new key. Why does... Irik need him? What is his name? No one knows. Traces of gum still stuck on it. Finally. I was just about to take a nap. You probably should have done it. It's been a while. Uh, I needed some time to find this key. Quickly, give it to me. So did you find the keyhole or whatever? Certainly, that part was child's play. A new thing, alright. This looks like a brewery. Oh my, what a mess, what happened here? All the workbenches, they're totally broken. Just a bunch of old broken beer and wine bottles. What should I do now? Seriously, what happened here? Well, we're here now. Maybe you can finally tell me what's going on. It seems I have little choice. Listen, like I said before, I'm in trouble. In fact, I'm on the run. I committed a bit of a crime. A crime. Oh, don't worry so much about that. I didn't kill or hurt anyone. It's a difficult life in town these days. Even more difficult for certain kinds of criminals. I had to steal my own money to buy a keeper's book on the black market. Long story short, in order to escape and cover my tra tracks, I pretended to be a corpse and waited for a long time. Soul's gratitude. We can make a pallet or a chest here. The... I'm really confused by soul's gratitude. Does this give me glass? Broken glass. Can I do anything with that? Oh, no. Maybe. But it's a thing. You can do it. So I'm gonna do it. Need a technology. Oh, great. Thing. Beep. Alright, so it's kind of cleaned. No, it's not. Uh, right, how did you come to live in town? Once, on a rainy evening, some judge took me into his home, wet and hungry. Thanks to him, I had a roof over my head and food to eat. He had but one condition, that I become his assistant. The judge had an old servant woman, quite well educated. She taught me how to read and write. So, that's how I got my start dealing with tons of monotonous paperwork and all manner of people. Okay, so well, why did you decide to leave? Yeah, uh, well, I never wanted to run away, but it's what it is. I never expected that bishop was just some smug crook. What? The bishop? A crook? I'm shocked. He swindled me for a lot of money. I sold nearly all I own. For this endowment, the bishop promised to cleanse my soul of sin during service at the local church. All I got from him was some, pr some prayer. Oh, and that God will forgive me, of course. Cleanse your soul of sins. Yeah, you know, I'd had enough of my boring life. I even started seeing paperwork and faces in my dreams. So many taverns, so many fights, brothels with their puffed up lasses. Boring court sessions, endless shouting, objections and fights, always fights. I got fed up with it. We all bear our sins. That's what they teach us, right? Or so I thought, but what if one could cleanse himself of sin? Take in a fresh breath of air and be free. That's why you're here. Yes, I managed to find a keeper's book on the black market. To acquire it, I had to take all my money back from that charlatan. Naturally, it's strange that you know nothing about this book, but very well. Well, I'm not the only keeper. Oh, I see. That explains why you look lo so lost. Ha ha. This book contains notes on procedures for healing a soul of its sins. How's that? I don't understand. With the help of these broken workbenches. It also says something about healing a living soul. But some of the pages are simply torn out. You just can't trust anyone these days. Maybe we can figure it out ourselves. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. This room and little contents are to be yours. And in return, you'll help me solve my little problem. Deal. Right, hang on. How can you make a deal? This is my stuff! It's attached to my morgue! It's under my house! 
You can't make a deal so I can have it. It's mine. What will you do next? I don't know yet, but I'll definitely have to stay here for a while. They're probably still looking for me. Do you see that door? Yes. There's a small room. I'll keep myself out of the way in there. You don't have to worry. No stranger will find you here. That's great. Wait, what should I do? Oh, look. It says here there should be a workbench with some blueprints. Uh, you'd have to clean this dump up anyway. Uh, judging from how the book is written, keepers are highly intelligent individuals. Uh, clearly not. I'm sure you'll know what to do next. I spent... <laughs> hey, Yuri, do you know what it is? Ooh, it's... I have absolutely no idea. Let's see if the book says anything about a box. Well, not much. Just a smidgen of Boltex saying it's better not to touch it. But that only makes me even curious to learn what's inside. Maybe we really shouldn't touch it. The notes in the book haven't steered us wrong yet. Oh, come on. What could possibly be dangerous? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. Maybe it's filled with poisonous spores. Yeah, a pair of dirty old socks, more like. That's the greatest danger this box poses. No, no. Interesting. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Maybe we should get some tools? No need. We'll manage it. Ah, oh, that hurts. It looks like you fixed it. Yeah. What are you? I have the same question. What are you? I'm Graveyard Keeper, and this is Yurik, the town res a town resident. I mean, former resident. And you are? I don't know who I am. I don't even have a name. I was born in this dungeon with the help of a graveyard keeper with a moustache. If you don't have a name, we should give you one. Let's call him Rippo. You're something sim simpler for our own sake. Uh, we'll have to say it every time. Oh, that was just a joke. Fine, we'll come up with something simple. How about her? I like... I've got it. I like your expression. So we'll call you Smiler. Are you sure that's a good idea? I like it. It sounds funny. I gather you've been stuck in that box for quite some time. And how much time passed? I don't know. Definitely more than a couple of years. Seems like it. Alrighty. It was, cl it was good to meet you, Smiler. I'll get going. I've got some things to do. Right, Soul Container 1, Workbench 1. Oh, this is a whole new thing! Oh, it's a new kind of science. Pray for souls. Healing from pride, remote craft control. I have no clue what's going on. Find out more about Smiler. Repair the strange mechanism. What? What's going on? What's the matter? Why don't you go in? Have I suddenly grown weak, or is there something wrong with the hatch? Try it for yourself. It barely moves. Won't turn any further. Looks like it's got rusty. What are we to do now? Will we have to break it open? Uh, maybe we should lubricate the hatch. That would probably help. Sounds like a plan. Very well then. You go get some oil. I'll guard the hatch. I told you, nobody ever comes down here. Well, I got here somehow, did I? Did I not? Perhaps somebody else might come through. Go now, and worry not. I'll be on guard. Alright, guess we need to sort that out so we can head down. We need to break that up. 